Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. So I decided to start my day a little bit differently today. It's 7.13 and I'm ready for the day. I just need to walk out the door. But I figured I would try to eat my breakfast here at home and see if I can actually finish it because whenever I take it to work, I get so busy and I stop eating. So I'm just gonna eat here. commute time never gets old. <laughs> okay, I'm already here at school, but um, I wanted to just quickly, um, I'm hoping that my TV has been installed. I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but I'm wishing that my TV has been installed uh, because that would be super nice to have and have that be ready. So I'm gonna take all of this junk in. Just another quick little reminder um, I've been using these mask brackets. I talked about them on my Instagram, but I've been using these mask brackets and they're so nice for like, if you have to wear the mask a long time, which I'm getting suited up and ready because, oh, I'm crooked. It's gonna have to be crooked and that's gonna be fine. You guys don't care if I'm crooked, right? So um, I am trying to get used to wearing my mask more for longer periods of time because I know that when the kids return, I'm gonna have to wear them. Um, I'm also planning on not wearing any makeup when the kids come back because if I have to wear this thing all day, I'm not even gonna try. Um, but for now, so I just put the bracket inside of the mask like this. It kind of looks like an athletic cup to me, which is hilarious. And then I just put it on. And then I'm good to go. And I like them a lot because one, they don't muffle me as bad and two, for some reason, my glasses don't fog as much as they did before. So anyway, I'm going to get inside. I actually have a key fob that works now. It's so exciting. Like before we had to knock on the door and they'd let us in and now I have a key fob so I can just scan it and get into the building without having anyone open the door for me, which is so nice. Anyway, I'm gonna go in and get this day started. Dang it, my dreams are crushed. <laughs> it's not here yet. Ah, okay, that's fine. So, um, starting, I don't think it's next week. I don't even know what day of the week it is or d month, day of the month. I'm like completely out of it. I think today's the 31st. So in two more weeks, Starting September 14th, all staff is to report to school. We are to work from school and we are to begin our contracted hours as if students were here, which I love. I've been doing this the whole time, but you know, a lot of people have been staying home for various reasons, which I get, but it's not gonna be that big of an adjustment for me. So I'm hoping that our computer screens or our TV screens will be here before then because if we're starting to get ready for students, like that's kind of part of it. So I'm hoping that they'll have those installed before that. If not, I'm guessing that it'll happen before kids get here. So anyway, I just walked in the door, had a cute little chat with my office ladies. I love going up there because they're one of the only other staff members who are staying on campus during this time and so it's just nice because I see their faces every day and I try to make it a point to go down there at some point in my day. So I didn't take anything home with me over the weekend which I love because then I can just focus on my son and my husband and it just makes life a lot easier. So I do have my little 
my week planner here on my desk. If you watched my room tour, you saw it. Um, and so I have quite a few things to do today. I have some phone calls I need to make, unfortunately, for some kiddos who are not doing so hot, um, which I hate doing this, but it's part of the deal. Um, and then I'm going to grade from last week, and then I'm going to begin planning for the next school week, which will be week eight of virtual learning. And I think I'm going to try to drag out erosion as much as possible and then when the kids come back, assess them here and then either continue with erosion or um, move on. But I really want to do like some demonstrations this week. So I think I'm going to dig into my cupboard here and see what science materials I have because I want to do like the plate tectonic thing where I move the landforms and create the mountains and then uh, demonstrate rainfall, wind, rivers and all that stuff do like an erosion station lab thing and have the kids do like a scientific method moment. So make observations, um, make ooh, a hypothesis, things like that. <clears throat> and then challenge them to do some of these demonstrations at home if they're able. And I also really want to do the Earth Spheres in a Bag project, which I didn't do last week. So um, now that I have, you know, next week is kind of going to be like, I want to make it a very fun, engaging week. Not that all my weeks aren't fun and engaging, but I feel like in the last two weeks with social studies, it's been a little dry because Studies Weekly is a little dry. But I've been trying to just get the kids used to using the system because we are going to be using it. What the heck? A bug bite just oozed on my arm. Um, because when we come back to school, the kids are still going to be using computers a lot because of the paper issue. And um, it's just going to be a lot easier to track all of their stuff if it's on the computer. So <clears throat> that's why the last couple of weeks have been a little bit drier. Which is fine. I mean, I've tried to find fun, engaging things for them to work on. Um, but yeah, this week I'm going to focus on planning for science again. All right, guys. So I did a little bit of digging and um, I didn't get anywhere because I decided to switch to a different project. I needed to create my Nearpod for this morning's Google Meet. So I did that first. And then, um, so my team leader, uh, we've decided as a team that we're going to begin doing weekly progress reports for us for our at-risk students. So any student who's scoring below 70% is, is going to be covered as an at-risk student. So every week we have a Google form that has all of our classes. Um, it's like a, an, a spreadsheet. So at the bottom we have um, each person's homeroom. And what we do is we put in the grade percentage and then we put comments um, next to the grade percentage and then that way we only have to call our homeroom kids parents and be like hey So and so is not doing so great in ELA and in math and this is why so we can kind of explain to the parent why They're not doing so great and then if the parent wants to follow up with the special area teacher They can this kind of makes it easier on each teacher because we don't have to call students who are not in our homeroom um, so it gives us a smaller list of students that we need to call every day rather than so like let's say I have like 24 out of 78 students who are scoring 70% or, or sorry lower than 70% instead of calling all of those 25 kids I would only call my homeroom kids so I only have to call seven kids instead of 25 kids or five kids instead of, you know what I mean? So it makes the call volume a little bit lower and then it also eliminates the, I guess, level of like us picking at them. So instead of three phone calls from the school or three emails from teachers, the parent is only going to get one instead of feeling like, we don't wanna feel like we're bombarding them or like harassing them about their kids' grades. We feel it's important to share their kids grades in progress with them but we also don't want them to feel overwhelmed by oh I got three phone calls today because my child is failing three classes instead it's just me calling and saying hey you know they're not doing so great in math they're not doing so great in social studies ELA is good science is good and then just kind of you know from there you know if you have any questions for Missy go ahead and call her or email her and I'll be sure and she'll be sure to update you on what everything is 
So it, we've kind of decided to do this as a departmentalized grade level because it's a lot of teacher workload for me to call 25 parents when I could call you know, five or six. So it's made it a little bit easier on us and so every Monday we update that list moving forward and then um, throughout the week we call those parents and try to update them. So that's been working out really well and so have the late policy. I'm, I know in a couple vlogs ago I talked about our late policy um, and so that's been really helping the kids be more accountable. A lot more kids are turning things in on time. Hey, good morning. How good, how are you? <laughs> you too. And so um, that has been working out really well. So I have about 20 minutes until my first Google Meet. So in about eight minutes, I'll turn on the timer and get that started. I'm gonna use the bathroom. I feel good that I ate my breakfast at home because now I'm not having to like worry about trying to get that finished while working. It's kind of nice. So I'm going to continue working on this project and then I'll use the bathroom and then get started with my first Google Meet. I did want to show you guys my outfit of the day though because I know you love these. I'll probably put on Instagram too. But okay, so I'm wearing that black dress that I wore last week. It has like the tank top kind of top-ish thing, but today I decided to put a t-shirt over it, and I really like how it turned out. It kind of looks like I'm wearing a long black skirt, and then um, these little cheetah print sandals, which honestly, guys, I would not recommend these. <laughs> They're from like an Instagram ad, and they took like four months to get to me, so I'm not even going to share where they're from because it would just cause you grief. Um, this t-shirt is from Amazon, I believe. And then I'm also wearing my Kendra Scott necklace and my Buffalo coin earrings. And that's kind of it. You guys know I love the t-shirt dress kind of deal. So that's what I'm wearing today. All right, friends, so I just finished my first Google Meet for the day and man, the chat thing is starting to become an issue. They all want to just like blast the chat with stuff and I had to really nip it today. Um, I had to tell a few of them, if I see your name in the chat one more time and it's not a question for me, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the meet. Whew. It's starting to become like, they just want their name to be seen, they just want to be heard, and I totally understand that, you know? Um, but it is very distracting, so that has been kind of an overall theme in the last couple of Google Meets. Um, so that's kind of been an issue. If you guys missed my classroom tour, you missed out on this beautiful flexi spot desk riser that I use for my Google Meets. One-handed motion here. I'm gonna just drop it back down. And get right back to work. So it is now two o'clock and I just finished with my last <gasps> Google meeting and I am exhausted. I had to pour myself another cup of coffee. I'm trying to finish that right now before I leave, but man, I am not feeling it today, you guys. I don't know what it is. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep. Maybe I didn't have enough coffee. I don't know what it is, but I am not feeling it. So I'm gonna get going here. I'm gonna go home and do my office hours from there and try to just relax for a little bit. Um, 
yeah, just wasn't into it today. Um, lots of, lots of different things going on that are making it a hard day. Um, lots of students who are not doing so good, um, you know, tracking grades is very tough online because it's just more clicks where as grading in person you just pick up a piece of paper and just kind of shift through them. That's really making me feel um, stressed and kind of out of it. I think maybe that's why I had our day because I did nothing but grading all day and um, that's exhausting. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to do my office hours from there and then I'm going to go to the gym and try to work off some of the stress and see if I can get a boost of energy there. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. I hope that you enjoyed and if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and this is real life. Virtual teaching is not the greatest um, and some days it's harder than others. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!